Hi, I'm Rian Helicavallo. I will be going to present to you my John Jay SEA Science Fair project, the Automatic Plant Watering System, under the category of Environmental Sciences and Engineering. My main goal is to create an effective automatic watering system for a specific plant, Cape Jasmine, and to monitor the soil moisture level of the plant. The purpose of this is to help my grandpa water his plants daily. He would often forget to maintain it. Before the process of building, I gathered data on the necessities of the plant. Cape Jasmines grow best in moist and humid environments. The list of materials consists of Arduino Uno or equivalent, breadboard, wires, capacitive moisture sensor, relay module, water pump and tube, the plant and the power bank. The procedures are to assemble the circuit by connecting the capacitive sensor LCD water pump system to the Arduino. You then upload the program to the Arduino via Arduino IDE. Calibrate the sensor by measuring the dry, air, and wet value. Insert the capacitive sensor to the soil and then connect the water pump piping into the base of the plant. Put water into the tub and power the Arduino using the power bank. Here is the layout with the labels of the Arduino, LCD, and relay control. As you can see, this is the automated plant watering system. I recorded the readings of the Arduino on the soil meter for 22 days. The starting date, October 25th, the ending date, November 15th. The soil meter readings are from a scale of 1 to 10, and the percentages are the Arduino readings. I log the data twice a day, one at 8 in the morning and one at five in the afternoon. The results from the data suggest that most of the information is relatively synced. While observing the plant, on October 27th, a flower began to bloom. There were no dead leaves and the soil looked well maintained. In conclusion, the data has proven that it's effective. The line chart implies that the moisture meter and the Arduino are in sync, meaning there are similar readings, which indicates the moisture level reaches the optimal requirement of the plant. Ideas for further expansion can be an automatic log for the soil moisture through the Arduino, circuit modifications, an app that has a feature to force irrigate the plants, a selection set point for moisture level, multiple irrigation systems that you can network, a camera to record the progress, a light bulb that turns green when the plants are being watered, or program it to play a sound during the process. The importance is that you can build an affordable system to automatically water a small garden.